What's going on, you guys? The Wattis NBA Show. I'm your host, Brandon Wattis. Today, a lot more free agency news. Starting off with DeAndre Jordan signing with the Dallas Mavericks. Left the Los Angeles Clippers. I think this is a bad move for everyone involved. For DeAndre, there were reports that he had kind of a bad relationship with Chris Paul. Reports that he wanted to be the main guy on a team, which he is going to be in Dallas. It's going to be his team. I don't like that at all. He's Who's going to be throwing you those lobs? You think Chris Paul's going to be waiting for you in Dallas? You think Rondo's going to resign? No. I don't like the move. I think DeAndre Jordan's going to struggle on offense. Defense, he's terrific. I love him on defense. Offensively, without Chris Paul, I expect to see a decline all around the board. Clippers... They lost big time. Not only did they lose DeAndre Jordan, their starting center, arguably an all-star. People are saying, oh, well, they could just use the money they were going to give to DeAndre to go sign a better player. Well, no, they can't. They were going to go over the cap to re-sign DeAndre because they had his bird rights. He played for the Clippers already. They lost those. They're capped out. They only have the veterans minimum to give. I'm not sure who they're going to target. Maybe Amari Sotomayor. But that gives you an idea of what kind of players they're looking at to use with that veterans minimum. They're screwed. I also don't like this deal for Dallas. Okay, DeAndre Jordan, yeah, he averaged like 200 rebounds and shot like 110% from the field. But a max contract, I don't know. They're going to be on the books over $20 million a year for the next four years. I don't like that move for Dallas, but hey, that's what happened. Next, I want to say how surprised I am. The Lakers have signed that many players. Zero. They've been reportedly have gone after DeAndre Jordan, Marcus Gasol, Kevin Love, LaMarcus Aldridge, uh, Jimmy Butler, Greg Monroe. They've been even Robin Lopez turned them down to sign with the Knicks. Greg Monroe turned them down to sign with Milwaukee. They struck out on all those players. I have no idea what they're going to do, but this just shows that. Just being a big market doesn't mean much. You've got to prove that you're a winning team. The Lakers have struggled to bring anybody in. I guess their last chance is to get Rondo. I'm not sure how he fits there, but that's what they're trying to do right now. Also, Sacramento, I guess their front office is as bad as everyone says. They reportedly offered Wesley Matthews more money than Dallas did, and he still signed with Dallas. They also offered Monte Ellis more money than Indiana did, and Monte Ellis left to Indiana. They did get Marco Bellinelli today. I like that signing, but offering more money and still not being able to sign those free agents, that's kind of tough. Speaking of Monte Ellis, that was a sneaky good deal for Indiana. They got him at $11 million per year for the next four years when you have guys signing near $20 million for the same production that Monte gives you. I think that was good for Indiana. I like that move for them. Next, the Dwayne Wade deal. I'm not sure if you guys heard. He signed a one-year, $20 million extension with the Miami Heat. I think that deal is great for the Heat because they had some cap space to spend. They weren't going to sign any other big-name players, so you might as well give it for Dwayne Wade. It's not like he's going to be on the books long. It's just one year. So they don't suffer. That doesn't hurt them at all. Dwayne Wade, who has an injury history, he's, I think, 30, 32 or 33, and he took a chance taking a one-year deal. I think, honestly, if he took 15 or $16 million a year over three or four years, that would benefit him way more than taking a one-year $20 million deal. But I guess you can't call him a loser because he has $20 million. None of us have that. So on to the last part for today, LaMarcus Aldridge. Who isn't talking about LaMarcus Aldridge? I'll give you the latest right now. He gave the Lakers a second meeting. They still are not on his list. Apparently, that second meeting did not woo him. Kobe Bryant was not present at that second meeting off his list. Miami, Pat Riley met with him yesterday, but they have no space for him. They have no money to sign him. It's not like they're going to trade Bosh. So I don't know what uh, rival executives think that Pat Riley was pitching him for next year. He was trying to get him to sign a one-year deal with whichever team he chooses and come to Miami next year. Hey, Pat Riley could do what he wants, so I don't blame him. Houston, that's pretty much off his list, which leaves Dallas, Phoenix, and San Antonio. Dallas signed Wes Matthews and DeAndre Jordan. Jordan got the max. Wes Matthews got f- over $14 million a year. They have no money to bring in LaMarcus unless he takes a huge pay cut, which he's not going to do, which leaves us with Phoenix and San Antonio. Obviously, San Antonio remains a front runner. 
everything makes sense for him to go there, especially him being from Texas, his son living in San Antonio. If I had to guess, he goes to San Antonio. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping he opens his eyes, gives the Suns a chance. Honestly, when free agency started, I would bet the Suns were fourth or fifth on his list. For them to have moved up all the way to second, potentially tied for first with San Antonio, I give them huge props. I just hope they could close this off. Apparently, they're selling him on being the leader and franchise player for the Suns rather than sharing those duties with Tim Duncan, Kawhi Leonard, and San Antonio. The Suns would be his team, and they're selling him on young future talent that would help win not just this year but for years to come. San Antonio, yeah, they will be championship contention this year, maybe next year, but you don't know what's after that. That's all we got for today. Thank you for watching. All other free agent signings will be down below in the link in my description. Enjoy your day.